I can help you with something. Yes? There is nothing for you there. is one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world, despite whatever praise the underground people. I can help you with... I'm looking for Laborio. It is me. You have come for the magic? I'm hoping you can help me make sense of something. A strange encounter I had. A man hiding behind a screen in the sewer, surrounded by followers of some kind. His name is Richard. You used to be partners. Richard is alive. You found him? I'm not sure what I found, but I know I didn't like it. Richard had a way of depriving me. Things I wanted to say and do, but I couldn't. I am so happy he is alive. Richard and I, we... I was sure that he... I should have known. Richard always said, the show must go on. There was nothing entertaining about this. What is he doing down there? How is he doing it? I have not seen Richard in many years. We developed a show together. The evolution of stage hypnosis intensified through technology. Adapted versions of the Casey and DDE designs. A social augmentation? In conjunction with modern hypnotic techniques, something much more powerful than mere persuasion. The communal construction of an alternate reality. For three hours on a Friday night, we guided people into brave new worlds. These worlds you and Richard created through hypnosis, what were they exactly? They were whatever people wanted, created together with the audience. Every night was different. After the incident, we... we were made to stop. Treated as criminals. It was not right. People paid for their tickets and embarked on imaginative explorations. We did not hurt anyone. We would never hurt anyone. I'm not sure that's still true for Richard. His audience now... I'm worried they may be trapped. Is that something he could be capable of? Creating a world and keeping people there indefinitely? 
It depends on the personality. If someone is susceptible to the message, and if Richard keeps repeating it, it is conceivable. The technology Richard is using to do all this, how does it work? Binaural beats. Richard balances his source transmission through a series of emitters that use targeted neural oscillation to stimulate specific areas of the basal ganglia. Right. Let's assume I'm not familiar with that particular ganglia. Richard is using a system of emitters that can intensify and adjust his frequency, his message, his intent. Imagine it. He can make the very soul of a transmission pierce into the brainwaves of his target audience. I don't need to imagine it. I already know it's terrifying. Why do you think Richard is doing this? What's his end game in trying to hypnotize people in a sewer? I cannot say for sure, but after the incident, after the way things began to change, Richard said he was going to find a better place. I did not hear from him again. The loss of so many people that we knew, I believe it broke him. He didn't seem very broken to me. More like a guru of some kind, with way too much control of the people in that room. No, Richard is not capable of hurting anyone. At least, he was not before. He was an idealist, the kind of man who... The worlds we created together on stage, they were more beautiful than the reality. Tell me how to stop Richard. Richard is conveying a vision of himself, of themselves of an alternate community they are building together. If it is Richard's goal to keep the people there, the only way to free them is to make them see through it. Well, how do I do that? Last time I talked to him didn't go so well. The signal he is transmitting, its effect is limited to a specific radius, to the room where the audience is, where the emitters are installed. Wherever Richard is must be outside of that room. So if I get to him, I'll be able to say or do whatever I want? Yes. But promise you won't hurt him. Please. I'm not promising anything. Something tells me if I do get in there, he's not going to be content to just talk. There may be a better way. The emitters, they are somewhere in the room, yes? Okay then, so wait. You wait. Just wait one second, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you? Come, come to me. Wait, okay. I think I have what I'm looking for. I think I have found what you need. Ta-da! They are scrambling devices, our failsafe whenever things got ugly. Attach them to the emitters, and it closes the ability to amplify. Good night. Show's over. Your gods are but men again. And that'll be enough to make the people in the room see through them? I hope. If they have been exposed for a very long time, you need to help them to see. But please be kind to Richard. I don't know what he has become, but I know what he was. A decent man once simply believed that the world should be better. We all believe that. But there are better and worse ways of going about it. You know exactly what you need to do. 